So, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I, I try to speak not only in my name, but in the name of the 212 uh, MEPs who have uh, signed uh, the letter. And uh, you know that letter, Mr. Borrell? Because, let's be honest, it's, it's, uh, I, I can only join those who, who, who uh, felt uh, completely devastating about what is happening uh, in Bucha and Mariupol. But let's be honest, that, has not, that cannot be the the center of our debate. The center of our debate needs to be is our strategy that we are following, the right strategy. Is it stopping the war? Is it stopping Putin? Yes or not? And what is our strategy? Our strategy, Mr. Borrell, and it's, it's a pity that Mrs. Van der Leyen is not there, Mr. Michel is not there anymore, because they are responsible uh, for that, is a strategy of progressive packages of sanctions. We are now on the fourth, and now announced today the fifth package. The fourth first packages didn't work. The value of the ruble went up at the end. And I predict you something, Mr. Brun. This fifth package will not work either. And therefore, we have sent with 212 people and mapped this letter to you. Because it will not work. And people in the corridors tell me, but Verhofstadt, you, you are impatient. Wait a little bit. We are working on the sixth pa pa package already. And in the sixth package, you're going to have oil as you want. Well, I can tell you, I can wait my whole bloody life for your packages, but the Ukrainians were dying in Mariupol, and Butcher cannot wait anymore. That is the reality of the war here. You know why your strategy doesn't work? Because progressive packages of sanctions with an autocrat doesn't work. That works with a democracy, with Democrats, who have a public opinion, a real public opinion. In Russia, there is no longer a real public opinion. The reality is that it doesn't work because the fifth package is what? Coal. It's ridiculous. It's only 3% of the imports from Russia. Swift, the ban, ridiculous. More than 50% of the financial institutions are still outside the ban. And the oligarchs. The oligarchs, yeah, we extend a little bit the oligarchs. The oligarchs will escape, finally, the sanctions. Or lose a little bit of their money. You need to tackle the 6,000 people around to Putin. The real people working with Putin. And we have the list. Alexei Navalny, the foundation of Navalny, has made a list of 6,000 people. These people you need to tackle. And so I have a request to you. I'm sorry that I'm telling it to you because I think that for 90% you agree with me, in fact. I'm pretty sure about that. So I wanted to say that to Michel and to van der Leyen. In the name of this 2012, it's time to change your strategy. It's time to have an extra European Council the fastest as possible and to go for the full package of sanctions immediately so that you can really make a difference. All the rest will not work. All the rest will prolong the war. All the rest will be more killings on the Ukrainian side. And finally, a little advice to my friends in Germany. I think that after the horrors of the Second World War, they have emerged, I'm finishing, a strong and democratic Germany, a very strong and democratic Germany. But from such a Germany, I expect leadership, leading by example, and not dragging defeat, as we see it today.